clear skies over northeastern Ukraine. No cloud cover means these soldiers with the 77th Air Mobile Brigade are on especially high alert in the tree lines around 10 kilometers from the Russian border. They're trying to intercept Russian drones, either reconnaissance or kamikaze. 37 minutes ago, a drone circled us twice, then returned to Russian lines. It was so high we couldn't intercept. If it was cloudy, then it would be forced to fly lower at around eight to 900 meters. Then we could take it out with this weapon. But getting eyes on what the men here say are increasingly sophisticated unmanned Russian drones, able to fly long hours at high altitude, is exceptionally difficult on days like this. The Ukrainian military says it's being outgunned and outmanned in various locations along the front line. This comes as that escalation in Russian targeting attacks hitting Ukraine's energy infrastructure continues. But there are villages in this area that are also being hit. Villages where there are still thousands of people living. A farmer works in his field among the newly set lines of anti-tank defences. The so-called dragon's teeth cut across the near flat expanse. Freshly dug trenches zigzag towards the horizon. A Ukrainian tank rumbles through the nearby community a small town which is being pummeled day and night. Giant bomb craters, the contorted remains of homes, a wreath in memory of the dead. The man was changing the oil in his car. He was blown to pieces. It was 1.30 in the afternoon. There are strikes almost every day. The center of town is hit every night. The playgrounds are empty. Many families have left in recent days. Irina chats with her friends in the local shop. She's moved her children out of town but has to keep working here despite the danger. I had to take my kids away because they couldn't endure it anymore, because you can't sleep. The children were terrified, so I took them to Izum. But as long as my job is here, I have to come here to work every day. Another air raid siren. A Russian ballistic missile alert, says this woman, as she ducks inside an apartment block. Across the fields, soldiers scan the skies and listen. Prepared as they can be with the guns they have to defend against the unmanned Russian threat. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Kharkiv region, northeastern Ukraine. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.